Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Marcano's having real estate problems. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there, dose the guards with his military-grade LSD, and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> if they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking ask me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nigga. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't get them folks their drinks now.
Nah, stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So, do they have a suspect? Not a one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. Shouldn't have to beg for it, is all. Hmm. We find this shine who killed Remy. He's gonna wish he was dead. Get over here Ray, with that bottle, man. Please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. Remy would have appreciated you being here on his account. I know. Let them burn their brawls. Just makes it easier to see what they're working with. Sure thing. Yeah, they're getting divorced, all right. It ain't going to be pretty, either. Yep. Hey, bring that bottle over here. You look parched. Have some wine. I mean, every Fine. last goddamn yeah, dime you. is gone. Okay. Jesus. What am I gonna tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. My condolences. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? 
Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just. <laughs> I wish I could show you. <laughs> it's all connected. <laughs> you see? We. You. <laughs> Do you We're see all black trails? <laughs> see that <laughs> Sunday mass? <laughs> Goddamn Donovan's. I see mind. I see Remy. No, something wait. is wrong. Oh. Get me I out of here Remy. now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them, they've all come down with some kind of... <laughs> Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands. See if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get me? Lost him! Winged him! Someone protect Miss Mockard! on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think I... Shoot that! Man. 
never thought. You get shot. Precisely. The first time I saw Lucio, he looked so handsome. Dashing. He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. There was always something terribly romantic about all of this. There ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Or maybe not. But it certainly was exciting. Where's the Garmo? Ah, uh, Garmo. Uh, uh, they have me out in a building. Down by the water. Uh, 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 uh. Thought you were gonna kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing! How'd he get by us? Looks like place else, boys. Okay. We got ourselves a gear. Oh, 
Tommy and Echo! Frogger thinks he can hook! That stupid son bitch. Pull him off me. That's another one. There you are. Long enough. Gonna blow that bitch in half. I'm on to you, buddy. Get the fuck off me! Christ, my hand is ruined! <laughs> Gamo, I'm gonna get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Oh, God. He's dead. My hand is ruined! I barely even knew Remy! Right here on this road.
Stop the car, I wanna get out. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay, thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. What'd you say? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to yeah. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gummo? Gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. This is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> the gummo's lawyer's gonna keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to, force them to make this right. It takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Galante, ask him, fuck him. The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission. They're gonna wanna cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make this call. <laughs> yeah, Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? 
I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Find out how you're gonna screw me this time. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. They teach you these kind of games over in Nam? Keep pitting people who are loyal to you against each other? Making them feel like they could be close to dying at any moment? Newsflash! You ain't in Vietnam no more. I'm fine with occasionally splitting things when we gotta lock the auction down. But continuing to ask my boys to do work that's gonna put money in someone else's pocket. That's when we tread into areas I don't care for. The Irish deserve to hold on to this piece of the city. Everybody's got their play, brother. But the truth is that I'm the one you called on to run the last territory. So all that racket shit aside, you know I can handle the day-to-day -day better than anybody else here. What do you think Marcano is doing out there while we're sitting here with our thumbs up our asses? The two of us, we're not escaping each other. Might as well embrace it. I ain't had a lot of people stand by me through it all. Joe was one of a kind. Prove you're worth a damn, Lincoln. Trust ain't something that comes easy to me, kid. But I wish it did. You know I'm the only one who will really have your back. Gotta do what's best for everyone, Burke. This part of the city is gonna go to Cassandra. Motherfucker! This right here, pal, it ain't fucking okay! You hear me? Show the man some fucking respect, Vito. Don't fucking say another goddamn word unless it's to apologize or give me some action. I'm tired of being fucked like some $3 hooah. That bloody bastard's got nothing but empty words in him, lad. Me, on the other hand, my words got weight, and you're best to do right by me. I've heard enough, Vito, and I'll take it into consideration. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. Thank you. 